Hi, my name is Elena Bowman with Hitchrax, and I'm going to be taking you through the video analysis features available in our software. So there are two things that you need to be able to activate your video analysis capabilities. One is a Hitchrax VCAM, and the other is a premium subscription, which activates your video analysis features available in our software. So with an active premium subscription, what you'll see is a VCAM or a video camera here in the bottom right hand screen of your session. When you select that, it's going to show you a live feed of that video camera coming through on the software. Now, you can set this VCAM up anywhere that you'd like. Profile the hitter, above, behind. We are going to be grabbing a two second video file and attaching every single video to the metrics of that swing. So if you take 100 swings in your session at any point, you can go back and review all 100 videos that you took. So I'm gonna hop in the cage, I'm gonna show you what that looks like and we'll go from there. So I just took a single swing, and what I'm gonna do now to review that last swing is I'm gonna click on this ball icon right here in the middle of the video camera panel. So what this is gonna pull up is again, that two second video file of the very last swing that I just took. So if you wanna make this bigger, you can. You can play it back at whatever speed. You have all your drawing tools down here on the bottom. And what's phenomenal about this is we're able to tie the movement with the data so you can really easily and really quickly help your players visualize the adjustments you're asking them to make. Now, in terms of pace of practice, what's pretty cool here is you can actually, for example, let's add somebody to this session. And now let's say you as a coach would like to review this last video with me. But you don't want to slow down the pace of practice that's working in this cage. So what you can actually do is you can collect, select on Amy's name. That next player can hop in the session. Amy can continue to hit. It's still recording all the data to her profile. It's still saving and recording all the videos to her profile. But you are on the outside of the cage with this player, helping them get ready for their next round. Once you select that record button, you're back in the session. Now, next layer, if you have two video cameras plugged in, you can have up to three camera angles plugged in at one time, you just need the additional hardware. When I select this video button on the right, it'll show me those feeds that are plugged in. So for example, we have a camera plugged in overhead. If I select that and I close that, I'll go ahead and take one swing and I'll show you what a video from a different angle looks like. The next feature that we're gonna go through is the automatic video replay feature. So this button adjacent to the pause button is gonna automatically play on a delay a video of the swing that that player just took. So you can loop it at whatever speed that you'd like. So if I select this, it's gonna bring me into a whole nother window where you're gonna get your tiles for exit velocity, launch angle and distance. But now the main show is a video. So as soon as I make contact with the ball, it's gonna loop a video of that last swing and then as soon as I make contact again, it's gonna loop that next swing. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. Okay, so as we said, all of these videos are gonna be available. If I click on this report button, all of these videos will be available in your session review during the session if you wanna go but take a look at any and compare. But let's go ahead and hop to post session. So you wanna go back a couple weeks later, you've been working with a player for over a course of time and you wanna review some more of their videos. So you click session review. Now, when you go to session review, you can filter any single one of these sessions by any, of the, any given metric, max velo, average velo, and any video icon adjacent to the clipboard means that there's video tagged to some of the swings in that, in that session. So let's go ahead and hop in here, take a look at this one. Now you can filter by anything you'd like. If you wanted to filter by max velo or distance or result, and here you have where that pitch crossed the plate, 
the movement of that swing. And then if you wanted to play it back, you can see where that ball went on the field. Now, let's say you wanted to take this even a step farther and you just wanted to look at pitches middle down in the zone. You can refresh that. Let's just go ahead and actually look at middle pitches. And now the data on the right, the videos on the right are showing me all balls put in play in that middle portion of the strike zone. Now what you can do from here is you can compare, right? So you're looking at apples and apples. You take the hardest hit ball or the farthest hit ball of that session in the middle, middle part of the zone and you compare it to the least far hit ball. You can pull these videos side by side. The data is color coded so you know that this video on the right, this yellow coordinates with this yellow, this blue coordinates with this blue, that the hit on the right was almost 80 miles an hour and the hit on the left was only 68. You can play these videos independently of each other or you can sync these two up. You select playback sync and now you can play them together. So we'd like to email this to the players. You select email, it's gonna to go to the player on the count, both video files and the data. Select yes, and it's gonna be delivered directly to their inbox. So we hope this is an awesome tool for you. Um, we know it's helped a lot of players make some quick adjustments and we look forward to hearing your feedback.